Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this angular video tutorial we will learn about the switch cases. Before just going to jump with the code, I just want to tell you that where we have to use the if else conditions and where we can use the switch cases. So when we have uh, lots of cases uh, according to a statement, then we can use the if else conditions. For example, let's say we just want to show the data according to specific month. Then we have to use the switch cases because we have the 12 months and if we are just going to make a if else conditions uh, in 12 cases this is not a good way to write the code right and when we have uh, only two or three conditions then we can put a simple if else, if else condition for example we have only three users with the name of peter tony and bruce and we just want to show the data according to a specific user then we can use a specifically if else condition because we have only three users but we have the lots of users or we have the lots of months name and we have the week name we have fruits name colors name because there is a lots of case and lots of option then we must have to use the switch cases right so in this video we will uh, define a property with the name of color then uh, we will show the data according to a specific color and obviously we will perform an switch case with this case right so now let's going to jump on a app.component.ts and I am just going to put a property with the name of color and let's say my color is red for now right and now let's open the app.component.ts and I just want to show a specific block according to the color then first of all we can take a div and just define here ng switch And uh, we just want to use the color cases right then we can just put a color here and let's say we have a h2 tag according to the colors right so I just want to define a color with uh, red right and uh, here we can just write here red color and when it should be show when our color should be red right then we can use ng switch and case you can just write a case and uh, here just put here red right so when we have a red color then this box should be visible and in case of green and blue and yellow right so we can just put here the different different colors like green uh, blue and yellow and you can also put the colors here so that they should be look a uh, little bit nice right and here we can just put here green yeah otherwise if there is no case match then we also have to show some default value then I just going to put here gray and uh, here we can just put here switch case default right and in default we should not we don't need to match any value right so now let's see here red color is by default why because we have a red color here so if I just put here green we will get a green box here right okay I just have to write here green and blue and yellow and default right um, now great so here you can see that green color is here with a similarly we can also view here blue and yellow whatever you want like this okay so let's say I'm just going to put here some other like golden and all but this color is not available in our cases that's why it will show a gray color as in default right similar with the sky blue and all right so this is the way that how you can use the switch case in the angler if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video